I'm standing up here in the driveway and wanting to get some trees pulled back that are just growing over the grapes and really shading them out. If you look over this way, this whole thing of line of trees right here is wanting to just grow out over the grapes. And there's even like this grape right here, totally shaded from above. Our terraces continue in a little further underneath all these branches. We're not gonna be able to get the grapes to produce anything underneath a canopy of shade like that. It's because they've grown so large and at such an angle, chasing the light out over the grapes, it's gonna be really difficult to get them down without crushing anything. So I have to get super tricky with it and figure out ways to pull every single one of them back the way they don't wanna go. Worked like a charm. Didn't fall on the grapes, fell right across the driveway. It's exactly what I was looking for. And you can see on this tree how all the branches grow one way. There's basically forest and shade on this side and then light on one side and all of these branches were trying to shade out our grapes. Feels good to have one down. And a whole lot more to go. So this log right here is pretty straight. We're collecting logs right now that are the right size, about six to eight inches in diameter to use as fence posts because we want to put up some fences and buying the pressure treated wood is really expensive. And we have lots of stuff to take down. So what I'm gonna do is measure it to 11 feet. Our tallest fence is gonna be eight feet. Yeah, so assuming that it's gonna go three feet in the ground, might not quite go that far, but I can always cut a little bit off later. Look at that drone.
All right, we got Jessica on the rope. We got another tree leaning out over the, the grapes that we really don't want to fall on them. And she's gonna help me pull it back the other way. Got it. This got could it. be a nice, this could be like a, cross a smaller post. post. Yeah, or a cross post. Alright, it's taking up that big one now. Oh, I had a crack. And it's gonna come down. Are you jammed? No. Stop. There we go. That scared me. <laughs> Even though I knew it was coming, it still made me jump. Yeah, it is. Careful. Well, that didn't quite go as planned, but it went. A little unexpected. Yeah, that is the danger of cutting trees. Uh, we cleared all up in here the other day, left all the big trees and the canopy, but made it so you could walk in. It did look like that, <laughs> impenetrable. Got that cleared up. There's the chicken coop. And then, coming over this way, took out a bunch of trees here, all this stuff growing up over the garden, getting it cleared out just a little bit more do right there. Really cleared a lot out. It's looking really nice. Our grapes are going to do better this year. We got a little snow up on the peak up there.
All right, so we're doing another elaborate uh, pull down of a tree. Oh, no. All right, we just found something kind of funny. I had some shoes that I was wearing the other day doing some work and they've been outside on the front porch and just stayed moist and they're starting to sprout. Let's see if you can see. Blue grass sprouts right here. The shoes are starting to grow. All kinds of little stuff. 